Well, good morning once again on this very hot July, though it might be August by the time you see this. Um, and uh, my name is uh, the Reverend David Dunlap. I was the first minister here at First Presbyterian Church. I have the Venerable Howe, the professor at Columbia Seminary. He's back with us again. Good and uh, enviously under the shade of a tree. Absolutely. I chose first. And who are you? My name is Samuel Macon Smith. And and this is your grave. Yeah, uh, yes, uh, first time I'm seeing it. It was not here in my day. Now, uh, you got quite a stone. Uh, I did. Uh, but I think it's more a testimony to the love of this people and the greatness of our Savior than the servant who is buried beneath it. Yeah, the Reverend Smith was the minister here from 1889 until 1910. Yes. 21 years. And, Nearly. Uh, tell us a little bit about Columbia in those years. Well, Columbia had about 15,000 people. Uh, electricity was uh, becoming uh, common. In fact, uh, the very first, uh, the world's first um, electric powered textile mill. Uh, was started in uh, during Dr. Smith's term. Um, and before well, but, you, but, but just one more little thing. It's it's now the State Museum in Columbia. Is now that same building. And there were two cotton seeds, the largest cotton seed mills. I don't know what that means. No, I don't know what it means either. <laughs> before you left, uh, Model T Ford cars were seen on these streets. Indeed. Now, you were a, a wonderful minister. You, you, you upheld the Reformed doctrine. Well, in our day, the Reformed doctrine uh, was uh, under attack. Uh, liberalism, uh, which originated in Germany, or at least that was the major center of influence. And was, that weasel... Schleiermacher. Schleiermacher was uh, the main father of all of that. Uh, he had lost confidence uh, in knowledge of God through his revelation, and he turned inside to learn about God from human feelings. He made the proper study of theology to be human feelings rather than the word of God. I had to stand against it. And you defended the Westminster Confession of Faith. Well, indeed, the, the church is... A hole here in the South was standing upon the Westminster Confession of Faith in those days. Uh, in fact, uh, in Charlotte, uh, during 1897, was the 250th anniversary of the finishing and the approval of the Confession of Faith. We had a great celebration of that. And you gave a wonderful lecture. Well, I was honored by my colleagues to be asked to speak on the, the future needs of the church in the light of this encroaching liberalism, and I was setting before them the Westminster Confession of Faith. I, I considered it to be a granite ledge uh, which God had erected against a, a sea of mire and dirt that was washing up upon our shores. Beautiful. I can tell. I Beautiful. can tell he must have been a wonderful orator. Now, if you have something to say to uh, today, in, in 2020, in the midst of the pandemic, to this church, what, what would it be? Well, to stand firm in the day in which we lived, we had to stand upon the Holy Scriptures. That's why the Westminster Confession of Faith is so uh, vital to us, because every phrase, nearly every word in that document has been derived from the Scriptures. It's been tested over hundreds of years uh, now. And, and we need to be noble Bereans, checking all things against the Scripture, never losing our confidence in the Holy Scriptures to guide us through the confusions of our own time. Well, there you have it. What? Oh, no, no more. One more thing. More. Um, Smith Chapel yes. here at First Presbyterian Church is named after Dr. Smith. Of course. Yes, of course. Now, whenever you're coming uh, into the church through the front gates, just look to the right. And uh, the largest monument that you can see is uh, in memory of the Reverend Smith, who was minister here for 21 years. Actually buried here. And, and buried here. Well, stay safe. Put your mask on. Hold on to the Reformed faith. And we'll see you next week. 
We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, and you want to make sure you get all of our content, not just videos, but podcasts and ministry updates, make sure you download our app. If you think you might have missed a video, click on our YouTube channel. A link should be down below. There you can see all of our videos. And if you want to make sure you don't miss anything in the future, hit subscribe. If you want to be one of the first ones to know when we release a video, hit that little bell icon. And if this video has blessed you and you can think of someone else that it might help, use that share icon and send it to them. All, of course, for the edification of God's people and the glory of his name. Until next time, God bless.